Um, no idea. I have no idea what this one entails. This is, uh... Oh, it's like an interactive storybook. Okay, Mike Mulligan and his steam shovel. Oh, uh, oh god, it's old. Loved by Children for Over, so it's from the 40s, I guess. Alright, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll give that a look in. Let's check it out. Uh, just boot that up. Beautiful. Um, oh, hang on. Move that. Yeah. Uh, HMI Horton. Horton Mifflin Interactive, here's who? Oh, canal, mate. How you doing, matey? We're just at the, um, arse end of the stream. We're playing Mike Mulligan and his steam shovel. No idea what it entails. Oh, we've got some good music, though. Doing good? That's good. Oh, wait. <laughs> Look at this terrifying thing. Hi, everyone. Narrated by Madeline Kahn, though. I only want to cave two American skulls in. Fucking d, &D. Yeah. They, do, they don't seem like the best crew to play with. But you gotta play, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's hard to find a new D&D group, I gotta admit. Anyway, they're fucking shit. <laughs> Alright, um... Play in the story. Yeah, so I like Madeline Kahn, because she was, um... Lily von Stupp from, uh, Blazing Saddles. One of my favourite movies. Let's, um, let's have a play, though. Had one C word just nice. constantly interrupt for an hour because he couldn't hear anyone and his internet is shit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, like if you're having technical problems, fucking Mike just Mulligan drop out and do something shovel. else. A but you've got chicken anyway. There we go. Steam shovel. Her name was Marianne. Oh. Mike Mulligan was very proud of Marianne. He always said that she could dig as much in a day as a hundred men could dig in a week. Of course week. she can. She's a fucking but steam shop. never been quite sure that this was true. We'll find out. Put it in the test. Um, so what are we doing? This is... Play the next... Time to check if that's again. rule 34 for Marianne. Play the next... <laughs> so what do we got? Town Ten hall. more... Play the... Play the next... Okay, so we can interact. Can we interact with stuff though? Said we could play in the scene, couldn't we? Play the next scene. Uh huh. <laughs> oh no, if, yeah, because you'd have to stick it in the the chimney part, because that's the exhaust for the, the steam, Mike isn't it? Mike Mulligan and Marianne had been digging together for years and years. Or the exhaust from Mike the, um, Mulligan took such good the fire you're burning Marianne, to heat the steam, I guess. Old. Heat the water into steam. It was Mike Mulligan and Marianne, and some others, who dug the great canals for the big boats to sail through. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm probably going to put this video on YouTube and get like some 70 year old prick it just going This was my favorite book when I was a child, how dare you insult it high mountains so that trains could go through Just cold related shenanigans, yeah Animation's good, I'll give it that It was Mike Mulligan and Marianne and some others who lowered the hills and straightened the curves to make the long highways for the automobiles. Yep, and destroy the environment. It was Mike Mulligan and Marianne and some others who smoothed out the ground and filled in the holes to make the landing fields for the airplanes. And to quote Cat Stevens, But tell me, why did the children play? And it was Mike Mulligan and Marianne and some others who dug the deep holes for the cellars of the tall skyscrapers. Oh yeah, yeah, because every every city. skyscraper out there when needs a sex dungeon. When people used to stop and watch them, Mike Mulligan and Marianne used to dig a little faster and a little better. The more people stopped, the faster and better they dug. Some days they would keep as many as thirty-seven trucks busy taking away the dirt they had dug. Okay. So, oh, can we now interact? It really doesn't want us to uh, interact with anything. Oh, here we go. Learn some... how a steam shovel works. Yeah. <laughs> Let's teach the um, the kids the antiquated te technology of steam shovels, shall we? Okay. Well, we're going to learn about steam shovels then. Oh, yeah. 
Um. Oh, we don't eat. Yeah, just fucking show me some shit. Smokestack. Smokestack. Old bunker. Turn table. Mm hmm. Caterpillars. Oh, God, that. Mike Mulligan. Swing lever. <laughs> this is Mike Mulligan, yes. Voice lever. Crowd lever. Yeah, Rip fair line. enough. Dipper stick. <laughs> Dipper stick, yeah, Dipper. right. Oh, yeah, because I forget you can open up the, the, the bucket. Uh huh. Boom. Yeah, okay, let's. Uh... Proud lever. That's how steam shovels work, I guess. Sure. Alright, that, that wasn't really much of an activity, though, was it? Um. So we're going, we're going back to the scene. We're just waiting for the scene to load, I guess. Then along came the new gasoline shovels. Oh no, shovels, gas and electric. And the new electric shovels. And the new diesel motor shovels. And took all the jobs away from the steam shovels. Mike Morgan <laughs> and Marianne were very... <laughs> the gasoline. Yeah, there's some gasoline. She's crying them as tears. All the this is the gang rocking up to kill Mad Max's wife. <laughs> junk, or left out in old gravel pits to rust and fall apart. Mike loved Marianne. He couldn't do that to her. This is sounding like, um... I remember there was a Disney cartoon that sort of played out like this. Yeah, alright. Oh, let's... Alright, so what the, what the town hall involved? Do we get any, like, interactive stuff here? Or is this just... Oh, it's back to the start. Okay. Um... Play in the story. Oh, we can't go back to the pages, so... Um, hang on. Oh! This is just about the author. Bibliography, artistry of Mike Mulligan. Oh, Virginia Lee Burton's life and work narrated by her sons. Okay, we might leave that to the end. We sort of got to get back on there. Get back to the so the engaging story that is. Yeah, we got to figure out what happened to um, Marianne. To Mike. Mm-hmm. Oh, so we gotta go through all the animations and shit again? Hopefully not. There's no... can't... oh, we can... No, we can press spacebar to skip. Or just crash the game. That's usually, <laughs> that's usually what the spacebar does. Um... Oh, come on. Really? This is... Oh no, there we go. There we go. Hi, Mike. Yeah, next scene, please. Moving along. Hopefully that didn't crash. I, I can't hear any music or anything now. Um, no, we've killed the audio. All right. Oh, <laughs> I'm on the edge of my seat. All right. Um, I guess we got to start that again. You're not going to let me get back on program manager. I got to boot this whole thing up again. Uh, righto, righto. Okay. Back to it. Back to the story of Mike Mulligan and the steam shovel. Oh, I, I missed that one. I need to find out whether they toss Mary out or simply convert her from steam to gasoline. You'd think they'd do that, wouldn't you? Alright. Yeah, maybe we can work out, like, uh, the page. Just skip pages or something. Um. Yeah, it's not letting us click ahead, either. I'm liking the music, though. The music's pretty fucking good. Wouldn't mind some actual pictures of Madeline Kahn, because, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good looking back in the day. I really hope that is the end. The, the end is her being torn apart in the junkyard horror style. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Alright, now we just very slowly have to 
Yeah, all right. No. Just, in the story. We'll do it all again, I suppose. Um. Yeah, it just doesn't want to let me. Read to me. Play in the story. Activities. Um, yeah, it really doesn't want me to skip ahead. Okay. Guess we'll do it all again. To Mike. Okay. Yeah, no, I can just snip this out of the recording and just start it from here again, I suppose. Mike Mulligan had a steam shovel. A beautiful red steam shovel. Her name was Marianne. Mike Mulligan was very proud of Marianne. I'm really worried that the he steam shovel's gonna like bite Mike in half. Dig as much in a day <laughs> wow, as it's a Mary Ann. Could dig in a week, but he had never been quite sure that this was true. Yeah, all right. Yes, hi Mike. Play Take the next scene. Off you go. Where's the boy going, though? I also, also, I guarantee that it won't, wouldn't be red for long. That Mike should have been Mulligan black from soot Marianne in like a week. Yeah, just, just dirt built up alone. Years. That's right. Mike Mulligan took such good care of Marianne, she never grew old. It was Mike Mulligan and Marianne, and some others, who dug the great canals for the big boats to sail through. Oh, so they're implying that she was old enough to dig, help dig the Panama Canal. It was Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann and some others who cut through the high mountains so that trains could go through. Yeah, I suppose, like... Like, if, if they wrote this in the 40s, like this... It was Mike Mulligan You know, the technological Marianne advancement of humanity, like, the doing all this sort of shit, it's like, kind of interesting. highways for the automobiles. Now, no one would have given that much of a shit it about the Mike environment Mulligan back and then. Mary Ann and some others who smoothed out the ground and filled in the holes to make the landing That, um, that is actually very... Yeah, that's that's not how airstrips work, guys. And usually not round. And it was Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann and some others. I'm also confused as to why they would refuse another machine working on a project. Yeah. Skyscrapers in the big cities. When people used to stop and watch them, Mike Mulligan and Like, sure, it's a coal fired one, but if he's bringing his own kit, what's the issue? Better. Yeah. The more people stop, the faster and better they dug. Some days, they would. Yeah, and it's really. 37 trucks busy taking away the it's dirt not... <laughs> they had dug. It's not really down to the shovel itself, it's the operator that's going faster, so that can go faster or slower as well. Play the next scene. Oh, well. Yep. <laughs> Just gotta wait for that disc image to spin up. Then along came the new gasoline shovels and the new electric shovels. And yeah, because design-wise, they're pretty much the same, shovels. aren't they? They're just powered and differently. Took all the jobs away from mm. the steam shovels. That's true. They are treating gasoline Mike like it's this revolutionary Mary super product. That's it. Very sad. I'm trying to figure out when this is set. I'm presuming like the 20s or 30s or something. So yeah, gasoline would be kind all of a new thing. All the other steam shovels were being sold for junk. Are left out in old gravel pits to rust and fall apart. And how would, would the electric Marianne. one would have worked back he then? Couldn't do that to her. It wouldn't have just be like one big battery. They didn't have the tech to make something like that. Maybe just <laughs> maybe it's just one big extension cord. Plug it in. Play the, the next scene. All right. Well, we're caught up at least. We won't worry about the activities. And also, I just noticed it, it looks like Mike's like dabbing up the top there. <laughs> it's he like, I don't want you to go, I'm going to do a dab. That she could still dig as much in a day as a hundred men could dig in a week. At least According to Google, could, the transition from coal to hydrocarbons sure. was from the 1940s to the 1970s. Went, the so yeah, even technology like this would have still been around in the, the 60s and 70s, and wouldn't it? Shovels had all the jobs. No one wanted Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann anymore. Then one day, Mike read in a newspaper that the town of Popperville was going to build a new town hall. 
we are going to dig the cellar of that town hall, <laughs> said Mike to Marianne. We're going to dig that Paul cellar, even though we started. haven't been asked to. We're, just, we're that fucking desperate for work. we got to show them what we can do. Yeah, I hope he's got some permits. <laughs> you need... You need in order to get permits for Town Hall, you need to build the Town Hall. They left the canals and the railroads. How can we get permits for the Town Hall if it hasn't been built yet? And the highways and the airports and the big cities where no one wanted them anymore and went away out in the country. They crawled along slowly up the hills and down the hills. And there's some poor bastard on like a little, little town you know, those runabout cars you saw in the 20s just stuck behind him the whole fucking way. Uh -uh. Get out of the fuck away. Mike dug so good that he finished the town hall thing lickety split. However, he did it illegally. So Mike's going to jail. The cellar for hmm. the new town hall. Mike Mulligan spoke to Henry B. Swap, one of the selectmen. What the I fuck is a selectman? You are going to build a new town hall. Marianne and I will dig the cellar for you in just one day. What? Said Henry B. Swap. Dig a cellar in a day? It would take a hundred men at least a week to dig the cellar for our new town hall. Sure, said Mike. But Marianne can dig as much in a day as a hundred men can dig is in a Is this so I just Don't noticed that Marianne is blushing. Quite sure. That's what? True. Then he added, is the thought of digging in a cellar like getting it, all hot and bothered? To pay. Well, I mean, that makes sense. She is a steam so shovel. She is meant to get hot and bothered to work. The cellar dug for nothing. So he smiled in rather a mean way and gave the job of digging the cellar of the new town hall. Oh, so they're going to dig the cellar for free as well? Yet. Okay. Yeah, right. -o. So the moral of the story is that you just move into the boondocks and show those country hicks aging machinery to impress them. They seem shady. It does Play a bit. The next scene. And it's not like everyone else wasn't having it tough. If, like, if it's 20s, it's set during the Great Depression. So everyone's kind of doing it rough they then. They started in early the next morning, just as the sun was coming up. Soon, a little boy came along. Do you think you will finish by sundown? He said to Mike Mulligan. Sure, said Mike. If you stay and watch us, we always work faster and better when someone is watching us. So the little boy stayed to watch. That's just the same men mentality of porn stars, isn't it? I like it more when you watch me. Yeah, right, eh? Um, no, they're just gonna keep smoking up. The sun's just sitting here going, it's fucking too early for the shit. Then Mrs. McGillicuddy, Henry B. Swap, and the town constable came over to see what was happening, and they stayed to watch. Mike Mulligan oh, there's my great grandfather. dug a little faster and a little better. Okay. Yeah, this is apparently what's happening. The more people that watch, the faster they work. And it kind of is that, like I was saying before, Marianne's getting hot and bothered being watched. Um, so she's working a little faster. This gave the little boy a good idea. He ran off and told the postman that the morning mail... Kid, why are you interrupting everyone doing the, like their normal work? You gotta stop the whole town and just watch this steam shovel work? Not the Sam Hell, is this public exit... A public exhibitionism story, yeah. And they all stopped and stayed to watch. That made Mike... Even the horses are in on it, man. Fucking hell. ...and a little better. They finished the first corner neat and square, but the sun was getting higher. Okay. Clang, clang, clang. The fire department arrived. They had seen the smoke and thought there was a fire. Then the little boy said, why don't you stay and watch? So the fire God, department... Yeah, yeah, this must be... That's, that's the fire engine. That's a 1920s fire engine. When they heard the fire... This horse and carriage with like a water pump on the back. ...the street couldn't keep their eyes on their lessons. Look at this cute Teacher boy. A long He's just doing a big sit being cute, aren't you? 
that hey, made my mullet and Marianne dig still faster and still better. Look at the chunky monkey. We finished the second corner neat and square, but the sun was right up in the top. Okay, of the you've sky. done like half of it by lunchtime. That's that's pretty good. Okay, I, I, I guess I'm not interacting with anything. I'm just going to sit here and watch the now, story. Now, the girl who answers the telephone called up the next towns of Bangerville and Bopperville and Bangerville, Hipperville huh? and Copperville and told them what was happening in Popperville. Is that, All the people is that where you have music festivals nowadays, Bangerville? The shovel could dig the cellar in just one day. The more people came, the faster Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann dug. But they would have to hurry. They were only halfway through and the sun was beginning to go down. They finished the third corner neat and square. Yeah, all right. Hey, look at all these people rocking up. There's like horses and shit everywhere. Never had Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann had I'm just waiting so for the rug to be pulled out and this to turn into some kind of never witch burning. Had they dug yeah. so fast and so well. <laughs> and never had the sun seemed to go down so fast. Hurry, Mike Mulligan. Hurry, hurry, shouted the little boy. There's not much more time. Dirt was flying everywhere and the smoke and steam were so thick that the people could hardly see anything. But listen, bing, bang, crash, slam, louder and louder, faster and faster. Yeah, okay. Ah, they're done. Then suddenly it was quiet. Slowly the dirt <laughs> settled down. The smoke and steam um, cleared How are they going to get him out of there? And like? there was the cellar. All finished. Four corners. Neat and square. Four walls. Straight down. Magic. Yeah. And Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann at the bottom. And the sun is just going down behind the hill. Hooray! Shouted the people. Hooray for Mike Mulligan and his <laughs> steam <laughs> shovel. The they have dug <laughs> the cellar that. in just one day. Yeah, good on. Do they get money for that? Oh, we can apparently interact now. Might play yeah, them. we'll we'll come back play to the activities. Just play them on their own or something. If there's anything exciting. And suddenly the little boy said, "Oh, it's by the story." Are they going to okay. get out? That's right," said Mrs. McGillicuddy to Henry B. Swart. "How is he going to get his steam shovel out?" Henry B. Swap didn't answer, but he smiled in rather a mean way. Then everybody said, how are they going to get out? Hi, Mike Mulligan. How are you going to get your steam shovel out? Mike Mulligan looked around <laughs> Mary at the four like, square walls oh, and four square corners, and he said, we've dug so fast and we've dug so well that we've quite forgotten to leave a way out. <laughs> we'll just dig our way out and Nothing just start like digging down. Nothing ever happened to Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann before, and they didn't know what to do. <laughs> Curse my hubris, what has technology wrought? Exactly. Nothing like this had ever happened before in Popperville. Everybody started talking at once, and everybody had a different idea, and everybody... Well, if it's called Popperville, maybe they're all on drugs, and this is like a mass and they hallucination. And they argued and they fought till they were worn Reddit out, before Reddit. Still, no one knew <laughs> yeah, just this whole thing here. Yeah. It's just out 1920s the cellar Reddit. They had dug. <laughs> then Henry B. Swap said... The job isn't finished because Marianne. Hey, buddy, you've had a three surgeries? Well, so I think Mike you're gay. Morgan won't get paid. You are the one who was and gay. He smiled again in a rather mean way. Now the little I'm not a fan of your comment. I'm going to dislike your comment. Had another good idea. He said, Why couldn't we leave Marianne in the cellar <laughs> and build the new town hall above her? Oh, Let they are just the gonna. Furnace for the new town well. hall. Oh, Mike and Mike just gets to be the janitor. Then you wouldn't have to buy a new furnace. 
and we could pay my <laughs> yep. Holy shit, they are tearing her apart. <laughs> and they're just both looking at the little kid go, fuck you, kid. It says like a terrible deal. Okay. Why not? said Henry Beeswalk. And smiled in a way that was not quite so well. Mean. Why not? said Mrs. McGillicuddy. Why not? said the town constable. Why not? said all the people. So they found a ladder and climbed down. Yeah, why into is the this Henry B. Swap guy Mike such a Mulligan dick? This is true. Hand. Why not? said Mike Mulligan. I haven't, yeah, they so haven't really fleshed out his backstory. I'm, I'm presuming it's heaven. like this guy up here. He, he seems like the a bit of a douchebag. Got the bowl hat, probably has a little mustache and shit. Okay. <laughs> the next scene. <laughs> this is uh, this really is something they'd like chuck some money into and have on Netflix for like all of two seconds. They built the new town hall right over Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann. It was finished before winter. Every day. The little boy goes over to see Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann, and Mrs. McGillicuddy takes a nice oh, that's, hot that's apple a pie. bit of a... As for Henry B. Wait. Swap, he spends most of his time in the cellar of the new town hall, yeah, I don't get... listening to the stories that Mike He's trapped in the cellar for winter. ...and smiling in a way that isn't me. He's basically in jail, yeah. And he's downgraded on his job. He's gone from a perfectly good steam shovel operator which would transfer directly across if he decided to use like a diesel or electric one and he's going to be in a fucking janitor now when you go to Popperville, be sure to go down in the cellar of the new town hall there they'll be mike mulligan and marianne mike in his rocking chair okay so he, maybe he's just like a Marianne lazy janitor and he's getting paid warming up a pittance just to live or something i don't know And it's probably, yeah, because it's like 20s, they're all probably having Reddit arguments about prohibition. Play the next scene. Oh, this alcohol is causing to dentistry. Well, I think you're gay. I'm going to download your comment. <laughs> Drinking alcohol is the devil. Yes. I'm watching Death Sandals video, by the way. That's that's who the, the person is. So if you want to watch a full playthrough, Death, Death Sandals. <laughs>